So you're thinking about making a move to Tacoma, but you're not sure if it's going to be the right fit for you. Well, in this video, I am going to break down 15 things that you need to know before moving to Tacoma about living in Tacoma. This is going to be really important because it's going to show you some things that hopefully will help you fall in love with Tacoma, but even more importantly, it might help you find out that Tacoma is not the right place for you and we are getting after it right now. Hey guys, Chris, myself and our team, we're getting phone calls, texts and emails every single day from people just like you and you and then you and we absolutely, we love it. So whether you're looking to make a move to Tacoma in the next three days or the next three months, shoot us a phone call, text, or an email so we can help make that smooth move out here to Tacoma. And if you wanna know everything going on in the local market, smash that subscribe button so you're the first one in the know. All right, number one, the very first thing is that Tacoma truly embodies the Pacific Northwest lifestyle. So if you're coming from somewhere that is way, way, way away, this is gonna be a huge adjustment. So you wanna start planning for this right away. Now, what do I mean by that? I specifically mean things like outdoor activities, community engagement, a lot of nature, farmers markets, and other things along those lines. Before I moved to Tacoma, we weren't big on hiking. We didn't spend a ton of time outside. There wasn't a whole lot of paddle boarding going on in the Midwest. But when we got here to Tacoma, our eyes were quickly open to the fact that everyone is outside at every moment that is possible, that things like exercise are, are huge, huge priorities, supporting farmers, doing things like farmers markets and getting together at community events like block parties and small celebrations, 4th of July bashes and things like that as one giant community are super important here. And that's something you wanna be open-minded to when you get out here to Tacoma. The second thing that I gotta talk about, and you've probably seen this 20 times over, is the weather variability. Now, there's not a huge variability in the fact that the temperatures range this big, broad spectrum. I mean, Tacoma pretty much sits between 45 and 75 degrees all year round, a couple colder days in there, about an inch and a half of snow. And there's a couple days in the 80s that can creep up in there summer. Definitely a great time to go swimming when that happens. But in the winter, you're really gonna have a mild winter compared to most of the United States. But it is gonna be wet. It's gonna be rainy, it's gonna be gray, it's gonna be dark, and there's not gonna be a ton of sunlight, especially during the big dark but the summers are the most beautiful that you've ever seen in your entire life. I would challenge a Tacoma summer against any place in the United States. The sun stays up till like 9 30, 10 o'clock at night. The weather is cool, crisp, and beautiful. Nature is stunning, and you can do pretty much anything you want all day long. With that said, you're probably gonna wanna invest in some rain gear. Now, for some odd reason, we don't use any umbrellas out here, but definitely having a poncho available at all times is not a bad idea if you're not a big fan of the rain. Also with the weather, things like sunglasses are super important, whether it's really sunny like it is in the summer or it's super overcast like it is in the winter, the clouds can reflect light and it's very, very hard on your eyes. In fact, Seattle is known as the number one seller of sunglasses in the entire country and that is the main reason for it. Now, subculture would also tell you that it's because people lose them and don't have to use them very often, but I use mine a lot, especially on those gray days when the sun is being reflected right off the clouds into my face. Number three on our list is that Tacoma is a major economic hub. Now, no matter what you do for a living, you're gonna be able to find a really good job. And I've said this before in videos, yes, it is not as big of a city, and yes, there is not as many jobs as there are in Seattle, but you're also not competing with the wildly crazy insane traffic, and you're also not competing with the wildly crazy insane cost of living up in Seattle, which will get to cost of living in a minute. But there are a ton of opportunities for things like healthcare with multiple hospitals around, lots of doctor's offices, and a plethora of opportunities there. The Port of Tacoma is responsible for carrying over 100,000 jobs for our area between shipping, warehousing, and workers. JBLM, the military base here, 
is responsible for hiring a ton of people as well. So no matter where you're at in your career or what options you want to have, there is a job out here for you, but you want to be aware that while you are coming out here to get a job, the best thing about it is as you're working here in the city, it's contributing to our local and economic growth. Tacoma is really big on taking care of Tacoma as a whole. So working here in the city is something you're definitely going to want to do. Living in Tacoma, the arts are a huge deal. We have things like the Museum of Glass. We have the Tacoma Art Museum. We have art walks, art showcases, art galleries. Hell, we have art being sold in the Sunday markets, the Tacoma Block Party. There's art all over every freaking wall. There are murals in every single parking garage. Art is just a huge portion of Tacoma and it's something that is really drawn in and really cared about. So being aware of that, even if you're not a huge artsy person, just being aware that when you get here, when you're living here, that the arts are really cared for. And I don't just mean, I don't just mean painting and arts along those lines. I also mean music. Music and theater are both huge here. There are a ton of concerts that come to the area, especially if you take in between Tacoma and Seattle. Obviously, Seattle is a major musical hub for the United States compared to anywhere else in the world. Number five is going to be commute and traffic. I know every city basically has some form of video where they say, hey, the traffic's pretty bad or it's pretty rough. Look, traffic in Tacoma sucks, especially if you have to commute into Seattle. One of the things that I tell everybody is the first thing you've got to do is you've got to plan everything in minutes and not miles. If you've watched any of my other videos, you've heard this said over and over and over again. Use something like the Waze app and plan out the time that you're going to be leaving. That way you're aware of how long it's actually going to take you to get where you're going because something like the airport can take 30 minutes or it can take an hour and a half. And if you're heading up I-5 to Seattle during five o'clock rush hour, well, I just made that drive today and it took me over two hours to get back home. Best advice I can give you is to live somewhere near where you're going to work, where your kids are going to go to school and around the things that you like to do. Next point is just get ready for outdoor recreation. When you look at where Tacoma is situated, it is super close to the Cascades, right next to Mount Rainier and literally on the Puget Sound. This provides ample opportunity for any outdoor enthusiast. And if that's not you yet, when you get here, it's probably gonna be you, just a heads up. More than likely kayaking, paddleboard, boating, and just hiking in general, exploring outdoors is probably gonna become a part of your routine. There are very, very few landscapes out there that compare with what we have in the general Tacoma area. So many of us take full advantage of it when we can. This one might seem weird, but as many cities were built originally older when they were set up on waterfronts, Tacoma is really no different. And therefore we have super, super old sewer system. When you're moving to Tacoma and you're living here, when you go to buy a house, I want you to make sure that you definitely get an inspection on the sewer system that is connected to that house. There could be all kinds of problems. A sewer could be jetted off to three or four different homes. This is something that you have to do every single time you buy a home in downtown Tacoma. Now, not everyone will do this. Not everyone has to do this, but I've got to tell you, this is something when living in Tacoma that you've got to take seriously. You also need to be aware of the cost of living in Tacoma. Now it is considerably cheaper than Seattle. Entertainment is also a lot cheaper in Tacoma. Overall, Tacoma is just a lower cost option from Seattle. In fact, home prices are about half of what it takes to buy a house in Seattle. Therefore, it's a lot easier to get financing, to fund a home from living in Seattle, but you do have the ability to drive there in less than an hour, which makes it such an amazing place. I will tell you though, that the cost of living in Tacoma, like really any area, especially the last few years, it has been increasing, particularly in our most popular neighborhoods like Ruston and Proctor. So you're gonna to wanna to have a certain lifestyle and there are gonna be certain activities that you're gonna to wanna to do. So what I suggest you do as you're moving into Tacoma is that you research all kinds of different areas and balance those with a lifestyle that you desire to have. Now, again, look, this is why you guys have to reach out to us. 
We know all these areas like the back of our hand. We can help you narrow that down. So set up that Zoom call and let's connect and see if we can't help you guys cut that one off the head. When living in Tacoma, one thing you're gonna really want to focus on, especially if you have a family or if you're planning on going to school yourself, is the broad range of educational options. Yes, Tacoma itself has a really good school system that you can take advantage of for free, the public school system. And there's also a ton of really great private schools to take advantage of, like the Charles Wright Academy and Christian Life Centers and things like that that are private schools that, of course, you can pay for. But moving on beyond that, there's also colleges like PLU and then the University of Washington at Tacoma. So really, no matter what area you're looking for as far as schools go, the city of Tacoma has it for you. You can use websites like niche.com to look up the different school systems and see which one might be a better fit for you. One thing I will say is this is something we can talk about. I'm not going to dive too much into it here because I don't want to be accused of steering. But niche.com does have a limited range of knowledge at the area. So when you get here, we can take your school preferences into account when it comes to shopping. Tacoma is also probably one of the most ethnically diverse cities in all of the state of Washington, especially the west side of Washington. You're gonna see more cultures blended together in Tacoma than you really are in any other city. This goes from the big festivals, cultural experiences, and all of the great ethnic restaurants that you can try here in Tacoma. Really opens your eyes up to a lot of different opportunities to get to know a bunch of different cultures. And that inclusivity is something that we are really, really big on here at Tacoma. And that's something that you need to be prepared for when you get here. This one is one of my favorites, the historical architecture. You wanna embrace charm, community spirit, and history. Living in places like the north end of Tacoma will open you up to some of the coolest architecture that you've ever seen. Some of the most original homes all different types blended all through in the north side. Think some of the homes in 10 Things I Hate About You. You're gonna see really cute, small Victorian one bedroom homes and you're gonna see gigantic mansions all with different characters, different styles and different tastes. So no matter what your style is or your preference is, I guarantee you you're gonna find it here. And if you're into character, if you're not looking for that cookie cutter, Northwestern, quick throw up build, man, these areas are gonna just smoke it for you. Are you ready for your pal to be treated to all kinds of exquisite tastes? Look, one of the best things about living in Tacoma, and I don't know if you really need to get ready for this, but we have so much incredible cuisine. Everything from some of the best burgers around like Frugal's to stunning filet mignon at Wooden City to the best lobster sandwich at the lobster shop. When you move to Tacoma, there literally is no reason for you really to spend any time at a chain restaurant, unless of course you're just some kind of weird fan of Applebee's because there are so many opportunities for you to try so many incredible restaurants. And I really think it's important to get with the locals on this because what you're going to see when you go to like a trip advisor or something like that is you're going to see what the tourists know, what the tourists really like to try, what they like to eat, but the locals will steer you the right way and they will point you in the direction of the restaurants that you absolutely need to try. And then of course, it's your responsibility for the new people coming to Tacoma to share those with them as well. Tacoma also has amazing healthcare. So one of the things you want to know about moving to this area is how to take advantage of all of the options. One of the great things about Tacoma is not only are there large hospitals, but there are also a ton of little clinics and a lot of specialties. Healthcare in Tacoma is also a lot cheaper than most parts of the country. So you can plan on seeing your bills drop just a little bit when it comes to spending money on healthcare. The Multicare General Hospital in Tacoma is obviously the largest hospital around. The St. Joseph Medical Center is also a really great option too. One question we get a lot about living in Tacoma is about transportation. So do I take public transit? Do I own a car? I heard people in Seattle don't buy cars. So we have a car here. Yes, look, there is public transportation. Tacoma does do a really good job between 
you know, rail service between buses, Ubers, scooters, everything. But the size of Tacoma and the traffic flow still makes it actually more convenient to still own a car. Now, if you're living in downtown Seattle, I would advise completely differently. But here, I would say it's super responsible, super reasonable to maintain your vehicle. That said, if you want to be more conscious of the environment or the people around you, you can always hop on a bus or hop on a rail. It might actually save you a little bit of time, but I would not suggest getting rid of your vehicle. Lastly, earthquake preparedness. Tacoma is actually an earthquake prone area. In fact, this year there have been about three of them, but I think I've slept through all three of them. None of them even been something that you could fill. That said, I still think it's important that you learn about seismic activity, that you prepare yourself, look at insurance options, look at escape plans if needed so you can evacuate properly and maybe just build yourself out a little emergency kit. Again, I haven't felt an earthquake yet, but I've been a part of quite a few of them, if that makes sense. But I love being prepared and I think it's super important that you do the exact same. All right, well, there you have it. Those are 15 things that you need to know when living in Tacoma, Washington. I hope that helped maybe narrow down your thoughts on the city a little bit and if it would be a good fit for you. Just remember, Chris, myself, and our team, we are getting phone calls, texts, and emails every single day from people just like you looking to make their move out here to Tacoma, and we absolutely love it. So, you know, whether you're looking to make your move in three days or three months, just shoot us a phone call, text, or an email so we can make that smooth move out here to Tacoma. And until next time, guys, I cannot wait to you're out here so we can show you around.